everyone, welcome. I'm Davy Killian, and in today's video, I am taking part in the $5 Goodwill Challenge. This is hosted by Hillary at Old World Home, and she is doing the Spring $5 Goodwill Challenge. So I have bought a couple items from my local thrift store to create some different vignettes that I am going to show you that I've done. And I like to use things that I have already bought or previously owned as well as the thrifted items that I got to save on some money and just to um, change my space up a little bit as well. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs and home baking. And now for the past several months, more baby type videos because I'm 38 weeks pregnant and so I will be having a little girl here in a couple weeks. So if you like those types of videos, definitely hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up for $5 Goodwill Challenge and thrifting, of course. But I'm going to share with you what I bought and then how I have created different vignettes throughout my haul using those items. So the two items I have are this wooden box. This was $0.75. Cents. It is just a plain little wooden box. I've used things like this in my spice cabinets before, upside down. Um, it's nice to just hold little keys in a junk drawer or something, or just to have on your counter to collect phones, whatever it is, but I'm going to use it to decorate. And then this little bag of mini Easter eggs that were 60 cents, I believe. So I really didn't spend a whole lot on my $5 Goodwill Challenge, obviously under $5, but I'm going to use items, like I said, that I already had on hand. So I'm going to show you what I am putting together. For this little tablescape, I have this basket here from Holler, and then I've had this little copper mug and this little hen and chick that I just stuck in there for quite some time. The copper mug was thrifted, of course. Then I did use my basket in there, and I already had spray painted these Easter eggs last $5 Goodwill challenge. And then I've made these topiaries several years ago already and just decided to use that in there. Um, our table's a little beat up, as many of you know who are my subscribers, so I just thought it'd be kind of fun. It's very um, unique, not something I'd usually put on the table, especially having like two baskets, but I kind of like it and I like the copper touch there. So that is the first area I have made. My second vignette here is out in my front porch and I'm not really a symmetry type of girl so um, this is a little shelf that I've had that I got thrifted. This was a dollar store DIY that I made last year. And then there's the basket and I thought to throw in the pop of color since it matched the pastels in my plant. And then my topiary again and the moss was just dollar store moss as well. So here it is. Um, I'm not sure how much I really like that, but I love the topiary and the plant. Like this by itself might actually be better, but you know, it's cute. And it's fun, it's springy, and bring on the Easter eggs. So, yeah, there are my two vignettes. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and felt inspired to go to your local thrift store today to find some things to make for Easter or even just for spring. Anyways, give this video a like, like I said at the beginning, and subscribe if you're new. I will be making a, another video at the end of the week, so hope to see you then. Bye.